Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Why you need DHA, essential fatty acid, in your diet on a regular basis and why it really needs to come from a vegan source. The DHA, which is doxahexaonic acid, very difficult to pronounce, is an omega-3 essential fatty acid and when we say it, it's an essential fatty acid, anything that's an essential nutrient means that you, you have to take it in from the outside. It doesn't mean it's just necessary um, for the human body. It could be and could not be, but uh, it means, you know, your body can't create it. There are eight essential amino acids, and then there's a bunch of essential fatty acids, and th these are the ones we need to consume from the outside. DHA got three main functions. Keep it very simple. Eye health, brain health, cardiovascular health um, even when we're developing as, as you know very young infants you really need DHA for all three of those and in particular de eye development and brain development uh, you, you know if you l really look at a lot of children who you know don't see very well maybe from birth or uh, you know their brains aren't well developed they have cognitive problems this can very well not always it can very well uh, come from uh, lack of this essential fatty acid DHA now, where they want to sell you, most places out there are selling you DHA, and it comes from a fish, some kind of fish. You know, it could be a krill, it could be a cod liver oil, but they're always trying to sell you DHA, it comes from the fish. Now, you could try harvesting DHA from a fish like this, but it's, it's really more like this. Yeah, that's how they get the DHA. Um, well, where do, the, where do the fish get its, its DHA? Where does it get that essential fatty acid? Well, it gets it from the plant world. Animals and humans cannot make an essential fatty acid. We can't make a fat. Or we, can't, we can take essential fatty acids, like omega-3s, and then we can build other types of fat on top of there. But no human or animal or mammal can, can make a fat. So you need to take those in from the outside. And that's what a fish does. And where do they get it from? They get it from uh, algae. Well, why not just go directly to the source? That's my philosophy. I remind you again, as I have many times, when you uh, eat from the animal world, you're really eating a secondary um, food source. You know, the, 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 the animal, um, whether it's a, uh, you know, a meat, fish, eggs, or da dairy, any kind of animal, um, has eaten a plant and has gotten that concentrated into its flesh or whatever, and then you're eating that. You're either eating the flesh or you're taking out the essential fatty acid or you're doing something, but this is what it is, is a secondary food source. And, you know, I always say go direct because the higher, higher you eat on the food chain, the more concentrated the toxins. So you're going to find a, less, a much less toxic source of, uh, of food the lower you go down on the chain. And that's where, what's the lowest thing on the chain? Well, the lowest thing in the chain is algae. And that's where our DHA comes from. So which algae do we, you know, harvest this, this you know, DHA fat from? Well, you know, it's a marine algae, so it's not a freshwater algae. All your marine algae have the, the DHA in them. You don't see it in freshwater algae such as spirulina and chlorella. Spirulina has GLA, gamma-linolic acid, and, a, and, and chlorella has ALA, alpha-linolic acid. But ours, the DHA that we, you know, harvest from, we cultivate, it's actually without sunlight because you're just looking for this fat and these marine algaes produce huge amounts of fat you know and they're and they're almost 10 percent fat so there's a lot in there but the name of it is you ready citrochigenarium say that 10 times fast okay pretty obscure but anyway it's a really clean source okay we grow it inside a tank there's no heavy metals or anything gonna ever get in there contaminate anything and then we harvest it off and it's really pure and uh, it's a great vegan source. So it's something I take on a regular basis, but I recommend, um, you know, the thing you always want to do when you're eating anything is always have protein with it. I always tell you, when you eat protein with some anything, your body will absorb it a lot uh, more efficiently. Well, the same is true with fat. You really want to have always fats, proteins, carbohydrates with everything you eat. And when you do that, you'll get this nice balance and, uh, of, of nutrients, and your body will take in everything very efficiently. For instance, there's another algae out there called acizanthin. I've, I've mentioned this a few times. I take acizanthin every single day. This is an amazing um, uh, algae. It actually comes from an algae called hematococcus. Aren't these names fun? Uh, so it's hematococcus, and then you harvest off 
this, uh, you know, this, this, this asazanthin once you put it under really stressful conditions. So pretty difficult to produce asazanthin. It's amazing we've got it, and I never miss it. I take it every single day. But anyway, when you take something like DHA, an essential fatty acid like that, um, you know, it's best to take it with a little bit of protein. So I would take some with spirulina and chlorella. So don't just take this, the, the uh, DHA by itself. Take it with a little spirulina and chlorella. Take it with some other kind of food, some other kind of protein source. I hope it's vegan. If it's not, well, okay, it's not. It doesn't have to be, but you're going to absorb it a lot better. So DHA, uh, an amazing essential fatty acid and something that should be on your diet on a regular basis because, again, folks, it's essential. And what does that mean? Well, it means we have to get it from the outside, and you don't need to go to the secondary to a secondary food source like a fish um, and take it from there get all you know get all your get all your fat right from the direct from the source algae and there's great other there's lots of other uh, the plant world has lots of great fats but you only find fats in plants and you don't find them uh, anywhere else we can never find them in in, in any kind of an animal or mammal um, because you know that's just something that's been taken in and used in that body I'm Dr. Bob McCauley. I'll see you guys next time.